Hi everyone, welcome to Pawpaw's Workshop. Today we're going to go back into the easel and use the Box Maker app to be able to make this simple little box using the Box Maker app. And this is a continuation of my eight drawer cabinet that I was working on on the previous videos, and I'll put a link up top to that. So let's get started today. This is what the app looks like when it's ready to carve. Let me show you how we did this. The first thing we did, we go down and open up a new workpiece. And then we can just simply come over to the apps, highlight that, and select the box maker. The nice thing about this is that you can only have really three choices. The width, the height, and the depth. And of course, you can decide whether or not to use the lid for the top of the box and the dog bones. And in this case, I use the dog bones. Okay, to be able to do this, all you have to do is select the different sizes that you would need. Let's just say a 6.0. And let's say the height was 3.125. And the depth on my little box was 2. 0.75 and that gives me the box that is the bottom right here and then the two sides and the front and the back so then when I import this in there's my pieces and all I need to be able to do now is just rearrange them to where I need to have them so I can just take this and we're going to slide it up and get it out of the way And we're going to go ahead and grab these other pieces that are over here and do the same thing. So I can grab this, put it into place, and we're going to move the other ones around as well. I'll put that one right there. And the last piece. And we'll set it here. Now the nice thing about this, you can now use this as any other design. And in this case, this is going to be the front of my box. And I want to be able to have that cut out. So what I'm going to do is just go up here and grab my circle tool. I have my circle. I'm going to bring it over here. This is set for 2 inches by 2 inches, and that is fine. We're going to bring that down to here. That's about where I want it, but what I'm going to do is highlight everything and we'll come over and center it on my workpiece. Then I want to be able to, with this selected, just a circle, we're going to bring this over to the cut and bring it all the way to zero. So it's a zero depth cut. And with that, I'm going to highlight everything and combine the work pieces together. Now I have this work piece combined as one, and I'm going to select outline, cut it on the outside. I'm also going to remove the tabs, and that completes the work piece. And I'm ready to actually carve at this point. I will go ahead and move these around a little bit so they'll fit better onto my uh, 10 by 10 square. Okay, here it is all moved and ready to be able to carve and that will maximize the space that I have on my 10 by 10 square and over here we can see the finished work as far as what it's going to look like I'm going to go ahead and hit simulate and you can see it'll take about 10 minutes to carve not bad to carve this I use my glue and tape method for the hold down and I also, as I have done before, use the eighth inch uh, straight bit to be able to cut that. And I realized if I had used the down cut bit, it would have less fuzzies and less cleanup. 
Okay, this is all finished. I want to just get this raised up here. These held actually very well. Almost too good. There we go. Now we'll take this over to the workbench and hit it with the light sandpaper and we'll see how they assemble. I want to just hit these lightly with a piece of sandpaper. And I hadn't shown this before, but it really doesn't take much to clean this up. To knock the little burrs off of it. And that's really all you have to do. Like I said, it doesn't take much at all. That looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of them and then I'm going to assemble it. Okay, I hit it just real lightly with sandpaper and uh, I'm going to do a little bit more sanding at the end. But to assemble this, this actually is working very nicely. So even though the dog bones did not work, on the paint tray itself they do work very nice on the box i'm gonna go ahead and glue this together what i'm just gonna do i'm gonna use the tight bond glue this time to be able to glue it together and uh, i'm gonna use some rubber bands to clamp it together Just dab a little glue in here. I'll let that one sit right in there. I'm going to do the same thing on this. There we go. Now we'll get this other side. This is actually assembling very, very easily. And let's get the front done. Really doesn't take a lot of glue. So I'm just dabbing a little bit in here. There we go. And we'll sit that one on there. And that assembles really nice. Now then to put the rubber bands on. Fancy clamp. Okay. Now we'll just wipe it up. Not too bad at all. You can see inside. I think that's going to look good. I'll put a couple more clamps on it, or rubber bands. 
just to hold it a little bit tighter. Okay. And I'll come back now in about 20 minutes. We'll pop these clamps off and we'll take a look at it. I'm calling these rubber bands clamps because they do quite nicely. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes, so let's go ahead and take the rubber bands off. There we go. I think this turned out very nice. It's a good looking little box. It's very sturdy and strong, and it was easy to do. And it only took less than 10 minutes to be able to carve on the X-Carve. Okay, I want to give a little recap on making of this box. Using the box app in Easel was actually very, very easy to be able to do. So the ease of operation is extreme, and I like that. Okay? The next thing is to be able to go directly to the app without having to design the project in easel first and then highlight everything and then go to the app you don't have to do any of that go directly to the app do the design work there and you're done import it into your workspace and you're ready to go so i like that also and this project was very easy to assemble now there's a couple of things that i don't like with all the ease of operation that also affords itself to some items that I don't like. I don't like the trial and error that I had to do to determine which is the length, width, and height of the box. So for an example, in the app, this was actually the width of the box. This would be the height. And then this portion was the depth. So that was a little bit confusing. But once I had that worked out, it was very easy to be able to do. The other thing that I did not like is you don't have control of the tolerances. I would actually like to make the tolerances a little bit tighter to make this fit a little bit more you know, snug together. And the last thing, I would also like to be able to control the number of tabs that are there. And you don't have that ability. But... I would still give this a thumbs up. I like the app, and I think it's an awesome, easy, great tool to begin with for beginners. Hi everyone, thank you for watching my video today. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified on the different videos that I upload. Also check out the videos over here to be able to stay up to date on the happenings in my shop. So again, thank you for watching my videos.